I'm here because this bill, C-10, is very, very, very scary. Um, especially the bit about the mandatory minimums, which is the legislative body of parliament encroaching on the judiciary. Um, a healthy democracy is based on the separation of powers, and this bill violates that. Therefore, it violates the very foundations of our democratic system, and that is absolutely wrong. Furthermore, not only does it violate this, it violates it in a way that can put otherwise good kids behind bars for a gram of pot, you know, and with, with this mandatory minimum, you're taking away the judge's ability to use his personal and professional ability to discern and judge the situation accordingly. You know, a 14-year-old kid with a gram of pot is not the same as a 28-year-old with two ounces in dime bags at a high school. You know, there's, there's a difference of situation going on. One of them is maybe experimenting, one of them has clearly been selling this stuff for a while. To call both trafficking and to give both two years of prison I think is outrageous. What happens when people go to prison? Usually they don't come back, you know, reformed, voting, tax-paying citizens. Usually they learn how to be better criminals because that's the way the system works in prison, especially now that we cut the prison farms, which happen to be the only prisons where people tended to be actually rehabilitated because they were caring for living things. Instead, we're building new big prisons, and so the government needs to come up with a new law to put people in prisons to film them, to fill them, because <laughs> building prisons is a business, and that's absolutely wrong. So it seems like I mean, the government wants to get this passed within the first 100 days, right? Yeah. So it seems like this is going to go through. What do you think the effect is going to be? What's the outcome of this going to be? I think the effect is, is terrifying. I'd rather not think about it because it really gets me thinking about the dystopian uh, fictions of perhaps not fictions anymore of Mr. Orwell and company. Um, you know, I mean, I mentioned the mandatory minimums with regards to drugs, but there's also the, the question of terrorism. It's a very ambiguous question as it stands. And this bill further empowers authorities to detain without warrant and seize property of suspected terrorists, whatever that means. Are there parts of this bill that you agree with? I mean, you know, one of the difficulties have been actually finding the bill, the whole thing. I've been looking online and all I can find are reviews of it. Um, you know, obviously, in principle, um, I'm obviously not trying to give, you know, pedophiles an easy way out of jail. But that's kind of the way they trick people, right? Is to say, oh, we got to lock up pedophiles. That means keep our streets safe. That means lock up all these other people, too. You know, and so I think just the whole idea of rolling.